Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. Let's talk about creating an automatic backup schedule for your VMware vCenter 8 configuration. Of course, you can use all kinds of enterprise backup solutions and backup software to take a backup of the vCenter appliance. But did you know that VMware vCenter 8 has a built-in backup mechanism which you can set up and schedule it and basically forget it? That will make sure that you have a consistent backup of your vCenter 8 configuration in case of emergency. Let's get into it. So this is the official documentation from VMware explaining how to configure and schedule backups. Of course, if you have another version of VMware vSphere, you can also select that specific version here. I am going to talk about VMware vSphere 8. I will leave the link to the, this document in the description below. Uh, this is my vCenter. I have just installed it and there is nothing configured here yet. If I go to my inventory, I can see that everything is empty. I don't have hosts or clusters or anything configured yet. So before I start configuration, I want to have a backup of the vanilla install, the out of the box vanilla install of vCenter. How are we going to do that? I'm not going to take a snapshot of the virtual machine. I am not using other backup software. I am only using the built-in tools from VMware itself. So in order to set up that automatic backup, we have to go to the, to the same FQDN, to the same host name you have configured the vCenter for during setup, but specify port number 5480. This will take you into the vCenter server management console and in this console, you can configure a lot of things for, uh, for vCenter. That's uh, for another video. Right now, I'm going to the backup option. As you can see here, I've already been testing some stuff out. And we can set up a backup schedule here. At the moment, there is nothing configured. If I click on configure, it will pop up a window and it will ask me, all right, what do you want to enter for a protocol, server address, port number, folder, or subfolder? As you can see here, the backup location can be several uh, protocols. You can use FTP, FTPS, NFS, SMB, HTTP, HTTPS. It's very flexible. I'm going to make use of SMB because the server where I'm sitting at at this moment, I have set up a share and this share, that's the share where I'm going to automatically create that backup of vCenter. So what I'm going to do here is I've already written down the path. So as you can see here, I'm telling it I'm going to use SMB. So I have selected SMB and then basically have the format. This is the server which is hosting the share share and in a subfolder vc01 underscore backups, that's the place where I'm going to store an automatic backup of the configuration of my vCenter. Now, it will ask me what are the credentials for to access that share. And I know it is just administrator in my lab network. Make sure that you have some specific user set up to, to access that share. And I want to have it uh, backup daily. You can see here, you can also choose a custom backup, but I'm going to choose daily and I will set this to six o'clock in the morning. And that's fine because at six o'clock in the morning, no one is going to change any configurations of vCenter. So I know that at six o'clock in the morning, if I take a backup of my vCenter, a automatic one, because I have scheduled, I've set up that schedule for daily, I know it will be consistent and it will be a backup which I can use if I want to restore the vCenter configuration. As you can see here, you can set up an encryption password uh, itself. That means you can secure that backup file, which is this creating, and you can set up a retention. I will tell it to keep 30 backups. I'm taking a backup daily. That means that I will keep 30 days of backup. I will select all the options here. I want all the configuration, but I also want events, tasks, etc. And when I have set it up, it will give you an estimate of the configuration size of the backup size for the configuration of my vCenter. And now I can, can click create. I don't want to save the password. 
Now, if you, as you can see here, it is presenting me with a, with a few other options. If I click the status, I can see that I have that's backup scheduled. Now it will keep 30 versions of the, of a backup I create there. I can also create a backup now. That means this is a manual backup. So if I click on backup now, I can, because I have set up that automatic schedule, I can tell it to use the backup location and user information from that backup schedule. It will fill in that information automatically. And if I click on start, it will start creating a prompt backup, a backup which I want to create manually. This is not the scheduled backup because the scheduled backup is, as you can see here at the top of the page, this is a manual backup which you can trigger manually. Now it's nearly completed, so that's fine. As you can see here, it has been completed successfully. If I click it open, I can see the status. You can also see the version of vCenter I have uh, installed and this configuration backup is for, basically because you need to have the same version of vCenter installed as this backup file is created on because you have it cannot be another version of vCenter if you want to restore this configuration. You can see the time this backup has been created and the date. And if I go into this folder, I can see that there is a folder created here. If I go into the folder, there is a naming convention there as you can recognize it says this is a manual backup for vcenter 8.0.2 if i go in there i can see all the configuration items which vcenter has for the current state because i have created this manual backup if this is this is for the current state the automatic backup will run it will run daily on six o'clock in the morning you don't have to do anything for this anymore this will make sure that your vCenter configuration is always safe. It's in a safe place. It can even be encrypted with a specific password to uh, keep prying eyes uh, out of the configuration and give you a safe feeling that your backup is safe somewhere in case of emergency, in case you need to make a restore. I'm going to show you the restore, but that's for another video. And these are the steps you need to take to set up that automatic backup of your vCenter 8 configuration. You don't need any fancy backup software solution for this. Just install vCenter, access that server management interface, go to the backup option, set up that automatic schedule, even trigger a manual backup if you need to. And this way uh, you will be safe and protected in case something happens and you need to restore your vCenter configuration. It will keep your mind at ease. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click on like and subscribe. If you have comments, leave it in the comment section below. I will get to them as soon as possible. Take care and see you soon. Bye.